What is yoga? You might be one of the millions who has taken a yoga class and perhaps even mastered the peacock pose or maybe the downward dog pose. You might do yoga for physical benefits or to rest your mind, but yoga has a lot more to offer for your deeper consciousness and higher awareness. So what is yoga? Yoga, meaning union, is a Hindu spiritual quest to experience the Brahman or divine by balancing our mind. Hinduism recognizes that there are many paths to the divine and so there are many types of yogas. Besides Hatha Yoga, there are four primary yogas. There are Bhakti Yoga, Karma Yoga, Jnana Yoga, and Raja Yoga. Krishna enjoys music. According to Bhakti Yoga, the yoga of devotion, he can experience divinity through devotion expressed through singing, dancing, and listening to praises of the divine. The Bhagavad Purana teaches nine primary forms of bhakti, as explained by Prahlada. Listening to God's praise, singing, chanting, rendering service, worshipping a murti, paying homage, servitude, friendship, and complete surrender of the self to the divine. Priya enjoys taking care of and cooking for her parents. According to Karma Yoga, the yoga of service, she can experience the divinity through selfless service. This is done by acknowledging the divinity in everyone and by regarding all her actions as worship. Bhagavad Gita says the best form of service is service that is performed without being attached to the fruits of one's activities. One should act as a matter of duty because by working without attachment, one attains the divine. Auro enjoys meditating and studying Hindu scriptures. According to Jnana Yoga, the yoga of knowledge, he can experience the divine by meditating on scriptural teachings to realize truth from untruth. Through Viveka, by experiencing inner knowledge and insight, he can differentiate between the eternal and temporal. The syllable Om is the Brahman, the impersonal absolute of Hinduism. Realizing it, one finds complete fulfillment of all of one's longings. Dali enjoys meditation. According to Raja Yoga, she has to cultivate her mind before she starts the practice of meditation. Yoga Sutra of Patanjali advises living a moral life, purification of the body through Hatha Yoga, and Pranayama, detachment from sense objects and concentration to prepare the mind for meditation. When the mind has been trained to remain fixed on a certain internal or external location, there comes to it the power of flowing in an unbroken current, as it were, towards that point. This state is called dhyana, or meditation. Yoga at a higher level can be anything that leads you to divinity. The four yogas are not mutually exclusive, and a true yogi combines the different approaches to suit his needs to realize the divine. Make yoga yours and discover the divinity in you. When the five senses are stilled, when the mind is stilled, when the intellect is stilled, that is called the highest state by the wise. They say yoga is this complete stillness in which one enters the unitive state, never to become separate again. If one is not established in this state, the sense of unity will come and go.